And so I kind of, in this talk, I kind of cast forward and said, well, where is this going? Where, you know, what, would the, what could the future possibly look like? And I described something that I refer to as the game apocalypse. And the idea of the game apocalypse is that is when every second of your life you're actually playing a game in some way. And so uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to repeat kind of the, the, the final part of that talk because it, it gives some, some sense of it. So if, if you can imagine where this, where this all might be going, imagine that sometime um, in the near future that you wake up in the morning and you go to brush your teeth. And your toothbrush, you know, has inexpensive sensors on it, and it's, you know, Wi-Fi connected because it's really cheap to do that. And so, you know, you go to brush your teeth, and it's like, you know, good job. Here's some points, you know, for brushing, <laughs> brushing your teeth, right? And, you, and, of course, once you brush your teeth a full three minutes, you know, more bonus points because that's the appropriate amount of time to brush your teeth. And, hey, you brush your teeth every day this week, twice a day, more bonus points for you. And you can use these bonus points um, on discounts on toothpaste and things you're going to buy anyway at the grocery store. And it sounds stupid. Who would do this? Why? Well, the toothbrush people know the more you brush your teeth, the faster you use the toothpaste, the faster you use toothbrushes, the more of them you're going to buy. They're going to want to incentivize you to do it. And so then you go to breakfast, and, you know, there's the cornflakes. In the old days, you used to read the back of the box, but not anymore. Now, you know, there's a screen on the back of the box, and uh, it, again, it's Wi-Fi connected and everything, and it's got a tilt sensor, because everybody likes tilt sensors, so it can tell when you tip the box, so here's 10 points for eating cornflakes, and then you're playing the cornflakes game on the back, you know, while you eat, and you get points doing that, and then you can see a list, and it's connected to Facebook, of course, and you can see all your friends who are also, uh, you know, eating cornflakes and playing the cornflakes game, and you just, hey, you just got a score higher than all your friends, and okay, bonus points, because uh, you're doing best uh, at that. Uh, and then you go to work, and you're going to get on the bus. And you're like, the bus? Why would I take the bus? Well, you take the bus because the government gives out, uh, you know, gives out bonus points you know, for, for people who take public transit. So, you know, hey, good job. And you're sitting there on the bus, and you're, you, know, so you take out your little phone. And you were going to play Tetris, but instead you end up playing coke Tris because it's free. Right? We went from you know, you know, 5.99 apps to 99 cent apps, and now all the apps are sponsored, so they're all free, and so you're playing Coke Trist, and that reminds you, oh, you know, I had this dream last night. I had a dream that my mother was dancing with a giant Pepsi can. Right? That's kind of weird. And then you realize, oh, duh, I'm using the Remtertainment system. And the Remtertainment system, you put it in your ear before you go to sleep at night, it can sense when you've entered REM sleep, and it starts whispering little messages in your ear, attempting to influence your dreams with product placement messages. And then you take tests in the morning, and if you can guess what, what product was, in your, you know, was put in your dreams, that means it's working, and so they give you all kinds of points. And of course, the more you do it, the more successful it works, because we train our dreams. So you get big points, because you remembered that it was a Pepsi ad in your dreams last night. So then you get to work, on time, good job, good job. Uh, and in fact, you've been on time every, you know, every day this week. So, you know, excellent job, you. And you, you go to your, your cube, and then, hey, here's your, your, your office mate. And he's like, check it out, check it out. I got this new, I got this new tattoo using e-ink. You know, I got one of the e-ink tattoos, and it, you know, lets me change the tattoo to whatever I want. And of course, right now, he's got it hooked up to Tattoogle AdSense, right? <laughs> and... So that he gets, you know, he gets uh, points and he gets money for like putting ads on there, and and you're telling him that's really dumb because everyone knows Tattoogle AdSense has light sensors built in, and if you have your sleeve covering it up, you're not going to get any points for that. And you show him yours, which is lower on the arm, so it gets more light. And just then you realize your tattoos are matching right now, and so you say Link Zinc, you know, and that's points. And then he says. He says Pop-Tarts, because they're ads for Pop-Tarts, right? And he, he points for that. Um, and then you do high five, and then the body electricity sensors can sense that we did a high five, and boom, we, we both get points for that. We both think that's pretty great that we noticed the link sync. And you're like, what is that stupid thing? But that's what's going to happen, is we're going to have these games designed to make you notice advertisements, right? They'll be fun, but they make you notice ads, and it's going to be very important. And so it's time to go to lunch. Now, all week, you've been having Dr. Peppers, right? And so that was 10 points, 10 points, 10 points, 10 points for Dr. Peppers. But you know there's a special with Dr. Peppers this week. If you have a fifth Dr. Pepper, 
you know, you get, boom, big bonus points. And so, of course, you're going to have one at lunch. But then after lunch, you go into a meeting, and the meeting's in another building, and, of course, you took the bus today. Um, you could take a shuttle over, but you say, you know what, I'm going to walk because, um, you know, I've got digital shoes, and uh, my health insurance provider uh, gives me discounts on my health insurance if I walk more than a mile a day. And so, of course, you're going to do that. And if you get your heart rate above a certain level, bonus points for that. So you do brisk walking over to your other meeting. And then it's time you're going home. You're going to do some shopping. This is going to be a points festival. Oh, my God. It's so complicated. You can't figure it out. So you go to your app. And you're like, hey, app, these are the things I want. And it's like, okay, here are the ones you should buy. And, of course, it knows just where they are in the grocery store. And so, boom, you get like a whole bunch of points for the shopping that your app told you to do. So you go home, and your daughter's like, hey, hey, guess what? I got my report card. And you're like, whoa, look at those grades. They're really good. And uh, so, like, you're going to get all these points, you know, from the, from the state for getting good grades. You know, and that's going to apply towards your scholarship. And as a parent, I'm going to get the uh, Barack Obama good parenting bonus, right? Uh, which I can apply for tax relief, which is really useful. And you're like, wait a second. Did you practice your piano today? And she says, well, yeah, I practiced my piano. You know, well, what score did you get? And she said, oh, well, you know, I got, I got 85,000. You're like, 85,000? That's the best you've ever done on that Sonata. That's a new high score for you. So, boom, points for you from the Arts Council that apply uh, towards a scholarship for you. So that's very nice. Okay, so that's done. Uh, it's time to, at the end of the day, we're going to watch some TV. And TV, man, that is just a crazy, crazy points festival, points and points and points and points, because there's a camera on the TV now that came in once you got that Microsoft Connect thing, you mounted a camera on top of the TV and it's watching you all the time, and people realize you can use this for all kinds of things. We can use it for eye tracking and to tell when you're actually looking at the ads. And so there's all these games about like watching the ads, follow the red ball, you know, follow the logo, right? And so it used to be people were skipping the ads, but those days are past. Now everybody wants to watch the ads because it's points, points, points. And of course your remote has a screen on it, you know, and of course it's Facebook connected. So you can chat with your friends who are playing the same games and you can see which friends are watching which shows and have a conversation. And you play games together and points and points and points and points and points. And points. You know, so that's, TV is going to be a very natural place to be, full of points. And then finally, okay, fine, I'm going to, it's time to go to bed. You get your new, you know, you got your Kindle 4.0 or whatever it is. And the, the cool thing about the Kindle 4.0 is it has, just like your TV, it has an eye tracker on it, um, which is nice because it can, uh, w when you get stuck on like, what is this weird word? You know, what does this mean? It can sense automatically that you're having trouble reading the word. It pops up a definition. That's really nice. But also, they can tell what you've read. And Amazon wants to know that because if you're going to review a book, you're going to get a heck of a lot more points if you've read every word of the book as opposed to if you just gave it a skim. And they'll know because they want that information. And you finish reading your book, and, uh, and what do you know? Achievement unlocked. Five, did, I, did I mention Microsoft bought Amazon? I mean, that's probably going to happen anyway. So um, <laughs> achievement unlocked. You've read 500 novels. This system's been tracking you for like 20 years. You've unlocked 500 novels, and you're like, yes, 500 novels. That's an awesome achievement. But then you start to feel a little stupid. You start to realize, man, my 500th novel is this dumb Star Trek novel. And like, it, it's bad enough that I know that, but like, that's memorialized. Because once we have all these sensors and everything on us, watching us all the time, everything that we do all the time, and we're going to remember it. Just like remember we used, you remember when you used to delete email and now we keep it all, right? We're going to keep all this data. You don't know day to day what your grandparents read, what books did they read, where they go every day. But your grandchildren, they're going to know. They're going to know everything you read, everything you did every day, every place you went because all the sensors are there and recording it. And you start thinking, maybe I better step up my reading a little. You know, because, man, this is going to be my legacy. And so it may be that, like, this future with all these disposable sensors, maybe this is a gross commercialization mess, you know, that you don't want any part of. But on the other hand, maybe it'll urge us to kind of be better than we were.